going to show you now is how to uh, effectively wrap paracord around the handle of a knife in such a way that it's not only easy uh, and effective and with that fact it makes it a possibility to uh, take the cord off use it and put the cord back on again as well there's no glue involved it's just wrap around and a few knots and stuff and that's it really so this is how I do it anyway and this is what it looks like it actually feels quite nice in the hand as well Okay, first things first, what you need to do is have a look to see where the sheath comes up on the handle, how far it comes up. So if you, if you look there, it's uh, just above that screw there, okay? So that's the first thing. Right, get your knife and your bit of rope, a bit of cord. And um, what I've done is I've put an overhand knot at the end of the cord there. Now it's not tight or anything, it's just a loose overhand knot. And then you put the rope, the cord on the, on the knife like that, okay. Now bear in mind this is the hardest bit, okay, because it's a little bit fiddly, all right. And uh, what, you, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the knife away from me and then wrap the cord around about three times the bear just watch where you're putting your hand on you know because it, it's getting close to the blade all right so just take your time and just get it round one two three right okay you've got a bit of a base to work on now still got to hold it down right what i'm going to do now just put it into place just make sure it doesn't go out the way the points to note when you get to this this far is there you go it looks like that is this end here is looks like yeah it's at the top top of the top of the handle there all right so you know where that is and this end here adjust it if you need to this end here there's a gap between that end and the lanyard hole all right Right, and all you do now is just wrap it round uh, tight and shuffle as well. So I'm going to turn the blade away from me, wrap it round, keep an hold of it and uh, give it a tighten. Now you could do this any way you want really, you know, whatever's comfortable for you. I would say Blade to the left, my left, wrap it round and hold it at the same time. Blade away from me, give it a tighten and a shuffle with your fingers, all right? And repeat the process. So blade to the left, wrap it round firm, keep a hold of it get rid of anything in the way, give it a tighten and then hold it down, uh, sorry shuffle it down with your fingers and keep it in place the way you want it. All right so there you go I'm going to repeat that now and then I'll get back to you on the next stage. Tighten, shuffle, turn the blade, wrap around Turn the blade again, tighten and shuffle down. There you go. So we're getting there now. See that?
Okay, once you've done that, next up is with this loop at the end, just bring it up a bit so you can get the rope through and just feed it through from underneath. Bring it round again and then feed it from the top. All right, so it's sort of, it looks like that a bit. And then what you, what you do then is uh, put the end through the hole, through the lanyard hole, like that, Oop, pulling the wrong one. Okay, so let's untwist it a bit, keep it as neat as possible. And then turn it round, keep hold of it, and then put an overhand knot I need to put it down for this because the ground will hold it then. Put an overhand knot at the end there and as close as the, as close as the uh, lanyard hole as possible. Okay, so I'll, I'll do that now. Okay, I've done that now. I've put that knot as close as possible to the lanyard loop. It's just an overhand knot, okay? And uh, what you do now is, I'll turn that around, be very careful, and get, remember this, this knot is loose, all right? Remember it was loose, just pull that tight and it'll tighten up this end here. So just watch you don't cut yourself. There you go. Pull it hard, yeah, there you go. So all that there and that against there is tight. All right, so, and then what you do now is to get this loose knot and just feed it down as close to there as possible. All right, so uh, I'll just do that now and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you. Because I, I need to put the knife down, see? <laughs> Right, I've done that. I've put the knot really close to there and this this bit just hanging around you was very long so I just, you could cut it and burn it so it doesn't fray or you could do another knot again, okay? To keep the length on the cord, you know, and then burn the end so it doesn't fray. So what I've done is I've, I've done another overhand knot underneath it and around it, all right? And the same on this end. So I'm gonna pull that, be very careful where the blade is. Pull that, so there's a bit of a gap there, look. It's gone, it's gone tight. And just get another, get another overhand knot going round underneath it, if you can. Just to keep the, the length of the cord, I suppose. A bit better, a bit longer, not much really. And uh, it's a bigger knot as well. Pull it hard! Ah. You know? I mean, you could use pliers to pull it hard as well. You know, but uh, anyway, and then cut it off here. Around about here somewhere. And then... Uh, in fact, I'll do that now. It's lucky this is one-handed opening, isn't it? Right, give it a little snip. Yeah, that's all right. Just check the length. No, that's okay. And then cut away. Get rid of that bit. And then burn the end. If you, if you like, it works. Oh, come on. <laughs> God. <laughs> this is the only lighter I got out here as well. <laughs> I don't believe this. Oh, there you go. There you go. 
give that a little minute and um, yeah and that is it basically you know that's it that's what it looks like and uh, you feed that up that ain't gonna fall down it might go that go that far but I fed it in such a way it won't go any further all right um, so that's what it looks like yeah and it's really nice in the hand as well that feels really comfortable okay it's really good yes it's really nice so there you go that's how you do it and um, of course you could take this cord off and uh, use the cord and put it back on again there's no glue it's just knots and put in such a way so uh, there you are that's how it is and um, also if your lanyard loop, lanyard loop hole is uh, too small to get two bits of cord through what you could do is I've done it on this one here is uh, the lanyard loop there is too small all right so what I've done is this exactly the same thing all right and um, not both end and what I've done is I've fed it through because there's no lanyard loop and put a knot at the end all right in such a way that it's, it, it fits my hand to do what I want, whether it be that, all right, or uh, this is a chopper really, so what I normally do is twist it around like that. You can see, that's enough I think. Yeah, and then I can do this business without it coming away out of my hand you know so that's that's quite comfortable that so the rope is taking the taking the strain and not your fingers all right because you might be tired at the time so yeah that's so that's that's that so that's what I've done if your lanyard loophole is too small to take two bits of rope see so that's that Oh, and just one more thing, just make sure that your sheath goes back onto your knife, which it does. Lovely. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, like, share, subscribe if you fancy, and thanks for watching this far.